Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting in my driveway. I have a long list of things I have to do and I don't want to do any of them. I just don't. But I want to get them all done today if I can so I do not have to go out. Saturday or Sunday. Today is Friday and I would just like to know that I can stay in for the next two days and not have to do anything. So we're going to the bank, Hannaford, Martin's, Dollar Tree, Walmart. <laughs> and I can only take you in Walmart, Martin's. I can take you in Martin's. So let's just go for the ride. I am going to have the camera on my windshield because we have a little bit of snow, so you can check out the little bit of snow that we have. I'm sure there's plenty more snow coming, especially like in February. February, we usually get a lot of snow. So I'm going to take you for the ride, listen to the music, and I'm going to talk to you at each stop. ran into my bank and got a task done that I've had on my desk for probably two months. I needed to sign something in front of a notary. So that's done. Now I'm going to Hannaford because I have to pick up some meds for my mother there that were too expensive at Walmart. And I am going to see if they have my chuck roast. And I'll be super pissed if they're not there in the cooler because there wasn't any the other day. So let's go do that and I will report after I come out of Hannaford and let you know if I got my meat. They had some roasts out. I was so happy. They had only five. I probably would have bought ten because I don't have anything in the freezer for beef other than ground beef. I don't have any other beef. But the roasts are good. I'm going to cut each one of them like into three big slices and freeze them that way. I think. I say that. Sometimes I just freeze the whole roast because even if I thought it doesn't take long to go through a whole roast. $2.49 per pound. This one was $8.54. They were all in the $8 range. Love my chuck roasts. Love them. Nice fatty in there. Love the fat. And I picked up for my mother, where is it? That's roasts. A little apple pie for 75 cents. I don't know if she's had this particular kind. She used to love the apple pies at McDonald's, but I don't go to McDonald's much anymore. Used to go for her quite often when they had the dollar menu, but a lot of that changed. Anyway, 75 cents for this. And I forgot to mention that at the bank, they always have candy bars on sale for a buck and it benefits the food pantry. So I got her a Twix. I would have got her a Milky Way or a Snickers, but they didn't have any, so Twix will do. And at Marden's, I usually get her a Whoopie Pie. 
So now we're on our way to Marden's. I just want to see what they have in the remnants. That's what I'm mostly going for. What I don't like is their remnants aren't really marked down more than what is on the shelf, but I'm still going to go look. And I, what I do like is I don't have to wait for anything to be cut. I'm getting ready for the next Fabric Frenzy, which will be in the middle or end of January. And I will be trying it on a Saturday this time. I put it out there that I might like to do that. And quite a few people said I would love Saturday because I work on Fridays. So we're going to try that. I'm going to look at the panels since I'm there. And again, I don't have to have that cut. If they have a sale on something that needs to be cut, I'm going to try really hard to ignore that. <laughs> for right now because I don't want to wear myself out completely in there. I don't feel like waiting for fabric to be cut and I don't feel like telling them cut this and I'll come back later. So I don't know. Let's just go. But obviously if there's a sale I will have to take advantage of that at some point. But they haven't had a sale bin in quite a long time. So let's just go check it out and I will uh, bring the camera into Martin's. camera malfunction in the car. It fell right off the windshield while I was waiting for my parking space. Okay. Grabs my mother's whoopie pie. They're a buck. Gonna try to get her a treat from each stop. And uh, now we're going to fabric. These are the piles I was able to get at the remnants. I went through every one of them. Yes, some of the remnants are still like way high priced. So I just take my time. I probably spent 20, 25 minutes going through the remnants. Now we're going to the panels that are pre-cut. I just took my sweatshirt off because I'm hot and I am one big ball of static. You don't know how much I absolutely hate static. And I make myself a spray with liquid fabric softener and water and I spray everything. My body, my hair, my clothes, the inside of my car, everything. But I'm out. It's on the list for Walmart. I am finding some new panels. Excited about that. Look, you guys are going to love this one. And it's flannel. I have not had a flannel panel. Hey, that rhymes. Somebody else was looking and I hurried up and pulled them all off. <laughs> Put them in my cart. Then I folded them. I think there's like five. Wow. That was long in there. And I started to feel like crap. And my head is just congested still. I had to wait for the tax exempt thing. And it always makes me nervous because they just do it all by hand and it just, ugh. So when I go home, I take every piece of fabric I bought, add it all up, see if they got it right. It's very seldom ever right, but if it's off by a few dollars, I don't care. Am I going to skip Dollar Tree? I think I might skip that and just go to Walmart. We'll do Dollar Tree another day because I'm really 
tired and I have quite a few things I need to get at Walmart. I don't know, I'll decide when we go by. I might just skip Dollar Tree, but I did um, get my mother a couple snacks. Where is it? I got her her whoopie pie for a buck, and then I got her some milk chocolate samples for a dollar. Let's just go. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're doing something. started shopping and then I forgot that I had a return. I have to return a set of phones because I bought two so I could decide which one I liked better. And I have to pick up those bags that I ordered for um, my fabric. So I'm standing in one line and then I'll be moving to another line. So far I just got some potatoes, two tomatoes, and ooh, and a little rotisserie chicken marked down to two nights for me and my mother, potatoes, tomatoes for my mother. I'm getting this shit because it's the cheapest. This is the fabric soften. I'm on my way to, I don't know, what's my list say? Picked up some light bulbs, two bucks a box, which is cheap. Oh, the fabric soften was 198 and I need, uh, my mother wants some soda. And crackers. Crackers are next. And then I would like some cottage cheese. She wants these buttery rounds, which are $1.98. And some saltines. Great value brand, of course, $1.78. My large curd cottage cheese is $2.62. Love this stuff. Getting my mother some orange soda. 84 cents for this big mofo. I was just at the Christmas candy. You've probably heard me say it before, like last year, maybe even the year before that too, that I cannot find ribbon candy anymore. That was like a staple in our house around Christmas time and my mother loves it, but I have not been able to find it in a long time. I also looked for Christmas peeps. I thought I'd come home with a box of peeps for her, but I didn't see any. So. I'm going to cash out and I'm going home to collapse. I will talk to you in the car for a bit. I forgot to pick up a can of peaches. That's what I get at Dollar Tree, but <clears throat> since I didn't stop there, I just wanted to get one can here because my mother wants some peaches. But I forgot because I didn't write it on the list. Oh, I am so tired. I really am. Just feel like I got beat up. It's just the way it is. It's like I feel a little bit better, but then if I exert myself in any way, and Marden's really is the thing that wiped me out because I spent way too much time there looking at panels and stuff. And they had some nice ones, but they were just still priced too high for me to justify buying them. But I will just keep looking, and um, I really don't have that much more to say. I will put the camera on if you want to take the ride home with me. Many of you have already done that enough, so yeah, I can end here. But I will um, do it for those who haven't yet. And I guess that's all I have to say. Oh, I wanted to mention that the other day, 
I swear I saw Mac, the guy that I got on camera a while back ago, the 84-year-old man. He was just a sweetheart, but I wasn't in the mood to be chatty, and he was very chatty. But I would have liked to have stopped and said to him, can you say hi again? I'm sure he would get a kick out of doing that. But again, I just didn't want to stop and chat, and I know he would have chatted. So anyway, I will at some point maybe run into him again when I'm more able to do such a thing. Uh, like if I'm highly medicated or something, or drunk. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> And uh, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for coming out with me. Jeez, I wish I would have done Dollar Tree. I probably could do it on the way home. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going home. Bye.